Japanese government panel has updated its guidelines on compensation for people affected by the nuclear accident in Fukushima. Nearly five months into the disaster, full-scale payments are now likely to begin. The panel of experts finalized what they call interim guidelines at a meeting on Friday. It had earlier released a set of rules on compensating evacuees and businesses affected by widespread fears of radiation. The new guidelines broaden the range of such businesses to include cattle farmers in 17 prefectures where rice straw with excessive levels of radioactive cesium was distributed as feed. Also included are green tea producers in eight prefectures where tea leaves were contaminated by radioactive substances. Travel agents in Fukushima have been eligible as well due to domestic tour cancellations, but agents in three neighboring prefectures have been added by the new rules. All agents dealing with foreign tourists will be compensated as well if the cancellation came after March 11th. Exporters are to receive damages for merchandise produced or shipped but rejected or restricted by foreign governments due to radiation fears. TEPCO has already started paying provisional damage to affected people, but the recipients and others have complained that the payments are too little, too late. The Japanese government is planning to buy up cesium-tainted beef that has already reached the distribution chain. The plan will include meat with radioactive cesium at levels within, that is, the national safety limit. The Agriculture Ministry developed the plan in response to calls for more support by beef cattle farmers. Under the plan, the government will buy about 3,500 head of cattle, which are suspected to have been fed rice straw containing cesium in excess of the safety limit. The cattle will be incinerated. The government will also expand subsidies for beef cattle farmers. Those who are unable to ship their cattle due to restrictions will receive about $630 per head of cattle. The government will also provide financial support to prefectures that are buying up beef cattle, which have become too old to ship due to the ban. The industry minister says an independent panel is probing claims that nuclear regulators repeatedly try to rig public symposiums on the use of atomic energy. Bandi Kayeda told reporters on Friday that a third-party task force is investigating claims that the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency intervened in town meetings with the help of Chubu and Shikoku electric power companies. The panel will thoroughly investigate allegations on Chubu and Shikoku electric power companies. Japan's other major utilities will also be subject to investigations. The utilities say the agency asked them to solicit participants to the government-run symposiums and have the audience ask pre-arranged questions in favor of nuclear power. Kayeda said that he will ask the task force to propose a set of guidelines for government involvement in organizing public symposiums. August 6th marks the 66th anniversary of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. To mark the occasion, Prime Minister Naoto Kan will express his resolve to reduce Japan's dependency on nuclear energy. The Prime Minister will deliver a speech at the annual Hiroshima Peace Memorial Ceremony on Saturday. Khan will call on the country to lead international talks on nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation and to work toward a world without nuclear arms. He is also expected to acknowledge that the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident caused anxiety around the world and announce plans to review Japan's energy policy. In addition, Khan will announce his intention to implement stringent safety measures for nuclear power plants, he will stress that the Fukushima accident is a lesson for humankind and it's Japan's duty to tell the world.
Well, before I answer those, I want to just jump back one second. Another question you asked me that I didn't answer. You said, why isn't the press covering this? I, you know, you have our Trends Journal, and we'll send you the JPEG, of the prostitute. That's who they are. The suck-ups and the bow-downs that follow orders from the top. That, you know, General Electric tells you what to do. And who are they? They're CBS and NBC. They're ABC and NPR. They're all of them, the prostitutes. They bow and they scrape. We have a Anthony Freda illustration of a prostitute. Everyone that sees it will understand it. So that's why they're not telling us the truth about anything. All they do is carry the water. Alex, how about the news in Fukushima? Shouldn't that be front page news? Oh, the fact that it's the highest radiation ever recorded coming out of reactors and, quote, uh, uh, deadly pockets that if you were in there for minutes, it would kill you. Uh, the fact that they knew that in the, in the first week that uh, three of the reactors had totally blown up and melted down, and then later the two other ones did. Uh, only one of them didn't uh, melt down of the, of the six because it had already been shut down. Or, or, or how about we went and looked up the fact that because we did some research that hundreds of thousands of spent fuel rods were stored above each reactor. We blew the video up of that mushroom cloud that happened three days into the disaster on that Monday, and we watched the, the rods blown 3,000 feet in the air, and we said those are rods, and months later they admitted, yes, rods were blown a mile and a half away. So that's it. They're covering up the news. You know what this really is? It's not, as we said and others Politics is show business for ugly people.